Isli, one of the busiest estates in Nairobi, which is located east of the central business district, is predominantly inhabited by the Somali community and known for its robust business. This busy suburb hides a lot of stories of young Kenyans whose narratives are known by few. Early marriages has been rampant in the country, particularly in northern Kenya and more so the Somali community. But the one happening here in Isli is far from a normal early marriage. This part of the country has become a resting point for men who come from abroad in the name of marrying young girls, abandoning them two or three months after marriage. Parents and guardians who are after the few coins paid as dowry risk the lives of their young daughters or girls who are related to them. Okay, these people from abroad, they, they know those people that they are targeting. They already know. Maybe you can see someone is coming from, let's say, America or Canada. Those are the most places they are coming from. And uh, they'll come to Kenya, especially Sli. They have that clue that they are going to marry. Okay, they will lie to you that they are not married. That's the first thing. The second thing, they will lie to you that they have money and they can take care of your responsibility wherever it is and they can also take care of your parents and they can school your siblings so once you are here, 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 you are So another thing is uh, these people in their mind want to enjoy the moment you want to fly they know that when in the Mali flani, come to fly in, you know so um, these things mostly in a lead you in a poverty. So they are targeting those poor parents. When you have an, uh, maybe uh, a busy take care of their lifestyle. When they she kwa rumoja, even though mali kuna TV, even though mali, maybe such wengine na tawa na TV. So ama wengine, their parents lives in these rural places, maybe in northeastern. For me, you know, maybe you to Somalia. No, na kuna a lot of maybe iso many fights and uh, those such things zin 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 happen in Somalia. So, mtu ame toka huko kimbilele ya life yake ana kujahapa mtu ana mdanga ana Aisha, not her real name, is one of the many victims who hails from Gariza. She was brought to Nairobi by her aunt in the name of educating her. When she came to the city, the dream of getting education started fading away as she started helping her aunt in running a hotel in East Lee's 12th Street. It is here in 12th Street where Aisha met her vacation husband. She was enticed by her family members to accept the man just because he came from the U.S., a name used by men to trick poor parents into marrying off their daughters at an early age. Abaram kana jo muda de lau sanamal nin qurba ki maade ay daadon ku daraya nin ke ay maade wali u daray 2017 ki. Aisha lived well with her husband for the first few weeks. After almost two months, she went back to Gariza to visit her mother, a visit that will make her lose what she thought will remain hers forever. Her husband left the country while she was away to Gariza, abandoning her while pregnant. <laughs> After going back to the U.S., the husband did not stop communicating with the wife he left here in Kenya. But the day Aisha gave birth was the last time she heard of him. The aunt also went back to Somalia immediately after Aisha was married. Aisha's life took a bad turn and she ended up going back to her mother to take care of her daughter.
أنا نال هذا جاي نكون نال هذا مكان عنو كده لي هو ذي محيط رزقي ما هو قارس أو قارس أنتي هو ذي أمد استحب للسو جوي محن ده هذا جاي نو بيها أنا صو شقي سنة يا. Okay, I think if I'm Mimi, I could have fall for it because maybe I'm going to go to Somalia, see a place to cook. I'm going to go to Japan, cook tea, cook chai because most of them are going to go to Somalia. Ama, cook one bunch. Onela. So, we are going to go to Kitungi and we are going to go to Japan. We are going to go to box. We are going to go to Kenya. I'm from. We are going to go to Kenya. I'm from this place. And I'm, I'm, I'm like to be honest, yeah. See it in the kitchen. I call this is something genuine, and we we are supposed to talk about it. And it's something that needs a lot of awareness. These men are lying to our kids. They are lying to lying to our sisters. So come as I to touch the king and I, or we won't prevent it. It will reach us. Na ita kwani too late. Already people are dying due to this. Mingine wanakuja na maugonjwa. Mtu kama mwenye ya likuwa maskini enye ya wezi take care of herself. Ukuja tena umongeze mtoto, umongeze mashida. Will she take care of herself or she will take care of her kids? Some of the reasons leading to these early marriages are poverty, fake love, forceful marriages in the name of culture without forgetting social media. A lot, a lot of the, a lot of things lead to early marriage, such as poverty and also peer pressure, or fake love. Um, like uh, the also social media, social media is part of it, and um, maybe parental force due to maybe they think these people from abroad they have money. Uh, that's what they think maybe. I meet with one of the known faces of Isli. Ahmed Mohammed, popularly known as Asmali, knows these stories more than I do because it has become an anthem to those who reside in this area. Um, that is an inhuman act. It's not right. I heard of those cases. I believe marriage should be between two consenting adults. Uh, what these guys are doing from the West is basically an abuse. It's not right. Uh, it has to be condemned, and as a community, we condemn it. And it's actually it, it borders to child abuse. Um, and those guys from the West who are doing these kind of acts are taking advantage of young girls, young, vulnerable girls. So uh, we condemn it as a community. It's not right. And I, I ask my brothers from the West, whether it's America or Europe, to seek marriage from consenting adults. That way you'll have harmony in your marriage. And, and the, the, the sad thing is when they come here, they take advantage of the young girl, they have pleasure with her, give her children, and then leave her destitute, poorer than actually she was before she got married. So it's, it's not right, it's inhumane. People should think hard, long and hard, before they commit these kind of acts. I come from a community that underestimates the right of the girl child. Girls from both rural and urban areas are forced into cultural activities that either harm them physically or psychologically. Uh, such behaviors uh, as a community, uh, we should fight it. And it's, it's a private issue, it's not a public issue. But what we are saying is we are seeking, we are asking these adults to actually think before they get into this car. So. Tell me, what advice do you have for the parents, the victims, and the normal Kenyans outside there? Because there are many girls who are suffering from depression just because of this issue. Um, to the victims, let me start with the victims, because they are go there is a lot of things going in their mind now. Um, advising you to talk about it. Don't keep it to yourself because it will depress you. Talk to your friend. Talk to, maybe if you have a mother, talk to your mother. If you have a neighbor, talk to your neighbor that you're good, you keep in touch with. Um, also to the Kenyans out there or whoever is watching this video, I'm advising you to know about your <coughs> friend, to keep in touch with uh, your friend and your colleagues. You may not know 
what this person is suffering. Uh, you may see a smile on their face, but definitely there is a lot of things that's going on deep down there. My advice to the parents is don't force your child to get involved in such cases. Don't force them to get married to a person whom they don't know because you're in need of money or anything. Don't force them to do whatever, whatever they are not comfortable with. Let them take their time. If they are schooling, let them school because you will see a lot of... Okay, I have seen a lot of parents whom they are forcing their kids out of school and now they are suffering. But at least now, Aisha is doing everything to make sure her daughter grows up. ولكنني <تصفيق> Where there is a will, there is a way. Muhammad Ali, Barack Post, Isli, Nairobi, Kenya.